Hello, and welcome to the Craft Man Show. My name is your host, the Craft Man. And today, but I'll Spain, the final frontal in the galaxy a long time ago. Craft Man was the email's communication. Hey, Craft Man, there is a game that's real popular right now called Among Us. In a way, the character style looks a lot like something you would make. Have you considered sculpt on them? I went and looked up Among Us on the internet, and I really did like the simple style of the character. My favorite character shape is almost like the letter A. Uh, I ain't so much fascinated with space. Uh, anyway, for me, that's not the final frontier, but I do like uh, space. Outfits are looking feature to them. That's pretty neat. Do y'all remember them? Out space. Another space for your A uh, space space. There's scuba dive for them. There's space for them. My friend Miss Hannah did that picture. So that's a free range chicken. Look what he going to. Probably hold up. Maybe he coming back from space though. So first thing I did was I said, Crash son, baby, can you sculpt me in a monk for your And he made it in super sculpty. Crash on, thank you for doing that for me. So, in order to make a mode of the character, all right, we're going to use silicon. And if you watched me uh, on the show before, you will know that I like to make a two-part mode in a lot of cases. And what's that mean? It's just going to be a mode that you can separate like that right there. That's an example of a two-part mode, but that's of course made out of aluminum and that's for injection molding. So we need something to put the character in. All right, so that when we pour silicone, it stays around and don't go flowing all over the place. In the past, I have used Lego brick. All right, you can do that to make you a custom SAS mold box. That's good. All right. But today I said, look, let's just use a little plastic container. That ought to be about good enough, right? Though. This is my El Cheapo modeling clay that I use. Just make sure that it has no sulfur in it. Look at the packaging. Uh, even you could use Super Scup if you wanted to, all right? Uh, but that's going to be a little more expensive and probably I would save that for modeling. But like I said, just make sure that it is sulfur free. All right. So we got it looking just about right. And what we want to do now is to make our little registration keys, all right? So you want to take, push the object down in there like that. Make sure that it's good and see it around. If you wanted to, you don't have to use a little metal piece. You could take and roll you up something, all right? And just, you know, make your own little registration key like that. But I just find it more fun to use pieces like this, you know? Uh, and also, you can take and make you some negative ones of these. All right. Just about like that right there. That's a little bit too. All right. Silicone is a thick viscosity, so it don't just leak in and everywhere, but it can leak. Uh, if you got some bees enough space or something, it can get on out of there. All right, and so I'm just checking to make sure I got enough thickness up above that visor right there. 
Cause you don't want to have a little thin little piece where your uh your mouth going to be delicate that you can push through, all right. Remember that your finger finger is some of the best tools that we've been given. So remember to use them whenever that you can. Now this might appear to be a lot of work. You say, Craft man, I ain't going to go through all that trouble. Come on now, baby. Look, let me just say this to you that will change your mind, all right? All the work goes into it just one time, all right? Because once you make that side, the other side is already done, as you will see in just a little bit. Hopefully y'all like my, uh, my construction paper background or thing. Trying to be dramatic, trying to be production value for y'all, all right? I guess I could use this. Let me use the other end of this thing. Let's see. There we go. As always, we're going to rotate the cup, scrape the side, scrape the bottom, get a consistent color. If you would have told me five years ago that I would be mixing silicone on www.youtube.com, I would say, I don't know. I don't believe that. But look here. All right. Now at this point, you could take and put this in a vacuum chamber to get rid of all them bubbles. But if you don't have a vacuum chamber, you can do what they call the high part. That's where you pour from up on high. All right. to let that cow for about four hours, all right. All right. All right, so before we can just pour silicone on top of this, we got to make a release agent. One thing you can do is this soap and isopropyl alcohol. That's what does my preference. All right. Uh, you can use the straight petroleum jelly, but you want to be careful not to have your surface looking uh, jelly fat, gunky looking, you know. So what we can do is add some mineral spirits to it. All right. And you just want to mix it up real good. That's all. I'm just going to take my little beetle brush. You know, you don't want to use one of your fan brushes for this. And I'm going to just go ahead and very gracefully, uh, just indiscriminately almost, make sure that you get it down in them little crevices and creases. Then I take my little paper towel, look at her, and make sure that I have cleaned out all the little surfaces. And so now we're ready to pour that second head. I want to demonstrate a little trick for y'all. This is called when you don't mix up enough silicone. Find you a silicone mold that you're done with. You're not going to use it no more. And just come on in here. Let's see. And I want you to watch this right here. Watch what feels to happen. Just about like that right there.
Looks like that is fully cured. And we can use that container over again. So that's what that looks like. And to make us a squished little figure, I am going to use Dragon Skin, which features a pot life 45 minutes. All right, you can also get Dragon Skin in a uh, Dragon Skin 10 fail right there. They even got a very fast look at that. When you in a big time hurry, today we call them with the Dragon Skin 30. All right, that's going to give me time to get the uh, bubbles out if I need to. So I ain't like that. We ain't no big time hurry. Uh, I just got to get a video out by Sunday morning and we doing good. Let's try this stuff. When it comes to coloring silicone, you do have a few different options. You can mix in to a mica powder. All right. But for today, I said, let me show them that you can use the silk pig right there. AKA stand for silicone pigment. As some of y'all might know, Craftman, uh, favorite color is orange all right look at this though we ain't got no arms up in here so unfortunately we can't do it i'm just messing with y'all we probably can mix them two colors right there but before we can just pour silicone into silicone remember what we got to do we got to add us a release agent all right petroleum jealous and mineral spirits all right if you want to you can use a little bit of this stuff oh, oh my goodness Okay, then. Some isopropyl alcohol. All right. And then missy, missy, missy. And that's you, a brushable release agent right there. But personally, I got to what I like to use the petroleum jello and a mineral spirits. All right. Let me tell you a secret. Uh, I learned this on the Indian Reservation one time. What you want to do is go on ahead and put your little bit of release agent up around these edges. Why I come the it is. Well, if you just get the release agent down here, let's say some of y'all silicone squeeze out. All right. Up into that crack right there between your mold. It's going to be stuck to your mold edge. Don't do that, all right? We're going to try and prevent that from happening. I hope I do not intimidate y'all with how sophisticated and how uh, precision that I can be getting with this stuff sometime, you know. That's a joke, just in case. All right. Now before we color and mix our silicone, I want to show you something that you can do. I always be careful with mica powder, this stuff is easy to uh, stir up in the air where you would dust mix, all right. I'm going to take, uh, ladies, y'all might recognize this little device right there. I'm going to take and carefully, very carefully, Try not to get this all over the character, but just right up in that visor. Just about like that right there. If you wanted to, you could also take other color, like that black right there, and just anchor your pinky finger, come around here, and just carefully begin to get you a shadow land going around that thing, all right? But you ain't got to do that. What we're going to do is to mix the color into the A side before adding the B side, all right. Let's try a little bit less red on that. Rotate your cup, scrape the side, scrape the bottom. 
All right, all right. Now, while y'all wasn't looking, I added some micro vents to it. So I'm just going to pour it in each side, and then we're going to put it together, and then pour some down in that little, uh, them little pour spouts right there. Now, I didn't say it wasn't going to be messy or not. That is a myth. And a little while ago, I forgot to tell y'all, you're going to need some rubber band. I can't believe I didn't mention that, but look up. The best thing to do is to have you a piece of cardboard and a piece of cardboard. Sometimes things just work out. Amen to that. That's all right, right there now. Also, I'm fired up, and let me do something real quick. All right, look it up. Let's do that. Let's do that real quick. Come on. Big time thank you to my son, grandson. Uh, one day, I'll do going to be y'all to take over. What? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's right. To my fellow men out there, look up. Uh, go up to your wife and say, Baby, is your last name Webster Dictionary? Because, uh, you got all kinds of definitions. Ain't nobody gonna say that. I love y'all and keep on dead crafting.